Cheese and making noise TV. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. Me and my boy on the set. We got a special guest, Miss Mills. We all in here, huh? I be riding through my old hood, but I'm in my new whip. Can he paint lift kit? 28 custom fits. Riding on the east side, park my shit in old me. Posted at the four way, but I ain't selling coca weed. Niggas on my payroll, they move as I say so. Fucking with my pesos, boy, you gon' get the halo. I'm manatees finest, don't post me as your highness. I do it for my city, yeah, kingly united. Churchies, hey, and I got a real special guest uh, in the building today. My boy Dominique Rogers Cromartie from the New York Giants Pro Bowl cornerback for the New York Giants, and I got a uh, extra special guest in the uh, guest host in the building, Miss Ebony. Hi everyone. Ebony yes. what? Mills. <laughs> Ebony, Ebony Mills in the building. So, Mr. Dominique Rogers Cromartie, you What's own up? year up? number eight. Nine. Nine. Year nine, number yeah. nine. What's changed for you since year two to year nine? The biggest thing I think I changed was my mindset. You know, uh, coming to the league, coming from a small place, giving a lot. You know, I think I think you uh, tend to get kind of big here. You know, get to that level and just hang out, man. You know, I think uh, now I'm more so just conservative. You know, uh, worry about my body, worry about playing as long as I can. And, I just said the big thing in my mind, man. I changed my mind. That's what's so up. You're more humble now. Nah, I've been humble. Okay. I'm well, just more yeah, reserved. I'm more reserved. Oh, okay. I don't hang out like I used to. So you've got some experience now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you <laughs> stopped hanging out. No, 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 no. I ain't hang out like I used to. Back oh. then I was every day. You know, now I'm about three days a week now. You know what I mean? Three days a week. Yeah, three days. What is? Oh, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. What makes those days so special? Say that on, uh, this right here, but. Oh, <laughs> we get a little too personal here. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll lay low on that. I'm sure we'll find out shortly yeah. and dig into them a little yeah, bit we'll and see where it goes. Here. Here. So you're here for what exactly? Tell us why you're here this weekend or now. What are we doing now? Uh, you know, I got a couple of events going on right now. Uh, I'm in the process of, as you probably uh, probably gonna get some footage later, but I got my fashion show going on in June. You know, that where I take local talent in, in, in the 941 area, man, and just showcase what they got, ripping the runway, man. Just a whole lot of fun, guys and girls come out and show their um, personality on the runway. You know, definitely got coming up is my celebrity basketball game. You know, I got a lot of names coming in, and that's always fun. So it, it's basically about having fun and just giving back. Okay, now back to really quick, back to the fashion thing that you've got going on here. Is this local styles that are going on, your styles? No, not my styles. You know, uh, it's just all about the individual. You know, uh, we come up with a scene, or what that scene gonna be. You know, uh, we have certain sponsors and stores that we go to, okay. and you create whatever you want to create within the scene. Oh, okay. So, so you give an opportunity back to the opportunity. community for everybody to kind of shine a little bit. Too. Yeah, that's, so that's really, really nice. So the the fashion show is not a part of the DIC weekend, no more. No, 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 no. I, uh, that's something that my, my mothers and sisters wanted to, you know, kind of incorporate. Yeah, by themselves. So I, I let let them have it. So DIC weekend is April first. Through the third. Yes, yeah, sir. What's going on on the first? Oh, you got the kickoff party, you know, uh, just come out, guys hanging out, you know, in uh, Paramount, you know, at the hall, got to keep it local. And uh, Saturday we have the, uh, starts off with the Bradenton and Sarasota game. You already know how the rivalry is between Bradenton and Sarasota, man, all fun, all jokes and love, you know, and uh, 
after that, you get a chance to meet some of the guys that you see on TV. Don't don't really have a chance to just just know personally. You, you hang out with them, and then we play a little basketball game, and, and then afterwards we hang out a little bit. And Sunday um, it's a pool party, and then after that, you know, everybody go home. Pool party. Chris put on a pool party. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is is the magic party? We're going to detail that, of course. Oh, <laughs> we'll find out all later. the good details right now. Yeah. It's okay. Like we said, we'll get them to you when they're needed. Now, can you tell, can you, how, who's coming out? Can you drop anybody right now? You, you trying hey, to yeah, but I can just, I, I like to keep on, I like to surprise people. But I can tell you is, it's team DRC versus team Rich Homer Quan. You know, and uh, each team got some, has some pretty good guys, man. And right now, we got over 25 athletes coming. So, uh, it's definitely going to be fun. Corn coaching. I don't know. He said he can play ball, but we will see. He can play ball. That's what he said. We got uh, we got uh, Antrell Road to coach one team and Fabian Washington to coach the other team. Fabian Mike Mike. Fabian Mike Mike on the yeah Mike 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 Jenkins. He coaching too. Yeah, you know Mike don't like to play no ball, man. Mike, what's up, Mike? Used to be a baller back in the G. Yes, sir. So you just kind of created something for everybody to come out, have a good time, come meet yeah. some local celebrities. Mm -hmm. Once we don't get to see all the time. Definitely, I think. Okay. I think enough. And it's been that. successful, correct? So far, it has. So far. Back to everyone knowing you, and for those who don't know you as DRC, where did DRC come from? Uh, that was the name that was given to me, you know, uh, by, the, by the NFL. You know, uh, everybody know me as uh, Dominique Rogers. I'm definitely um, a Cromartie taken after my father's name. You know, uh, being one of the last Cromarties that's, that's down here, and, and being my father's only son. You know, it was on the right that I take his last name and continue on with the legacy. So that where that Cromartie came from. Oh, okay. So that works well for you. Yes, well, yes. It keeps going. So who is Dominique Rogers? Give us a small insight on you. Let's see here. Yeah. You know, born we and raised. We know he's from Palmetto. Sorry oh. to be interrupting him, but we know he's from Palmetto. No. Braided oh, him. Oh, excuse Braided. me. I'm sorry. Now he's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just cut that part out. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now I would say, uh. A guy that's from Bradenton, like everybody else, you know, um, grew up in in a struggling situation just like everybody else, you know. But uh, I think the, the one thing that I had going for me as a, as a child was I had a good foundation as far as my grandma and my mom, as far as the things that kept me and they kept me busy. You know, we, we stayed at the boys' club, you know. It's, I remember my shoot. I stayed at the boys' club as long as I can, you know. Uh, it it keeps you out of trouble. So now I think. That's one of the things I was kind of sad about seeing that ninth, ninth uh, Street Boys Club get towed down. You know, that, that, that kind of hurt me a little bit. But, you know, just growing up, staying out of trouble. You know, talk about that, the Boys Club. Yeah. Like, you know, that we, it's a lot of memories out there. A lot of memories. A lot of pro athletes, some of the best athletes that ever passed through Manatee County, Florida, yeah. went to the Boys Club. Now, when it, they was tearing it down, mm -hmm. some people was asking. It was always a conversation. What about we got football players in the – Right. From, from the county, who went to that boys club, why they came by to uh, save it, can they save it? Was that ever something that was on your mind? Oh yeah, definitely, you know, because uh, if you know anything, every time I come back, I'm always around the boys club. That's why I come here, to play at a boys club so much, because it's, it's, it's in me, you know what I mean? I, and I definitely love kids, so uh, if it was a chance to save it, man, and it was presented to us, I'm, I'm quite sure we would have came together and, and did that. But you know, that, that definitely wasn't presented to none of us, but we definitely took advantage of that. No, nah, they wanted that parking lot. Yeah. They ain't they, they, they want to keep the boys club there, man. Yeah. Well, obviously, you're still doing a really great job with the fashion show, the birthday bash week and festivities, and bringing down people that we don't get to see on a regular basis. It's got to be a really awesome thing, and allowing you to incorporate the people in your community in this fashion show, allowing them to show their own creativity. Right. So that's got to be a big ups to you right there. And like that's I said, right. we got to know a little bit about him being from East Bradenton, and like I'm sure all the ladies want to know, of course I'm going to dig into your personal life a little bit. Tell me something we don't know about the DRC. Uh, uh, I did a little research though, ladies. I see most people think, mm -hmm. most people think, you know what I mean, I'm out there just some hype kind of guy, but you know, I'm, I'm very soft-spoken and shy, okay. you know, for the most part, you know, I just, I'm very reserved and emo, unless I know you like, we grew up together and I'm wild, but other than that, I'm to myself reserved, quiet, you know what I mean? So I hear People you don't like know that. <laughs> I hear you like to go to the movies. That's my favorite thing to do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And on your free time, what do you do? That's what I do. I go to the movies, but you can catch me swimming. Oh, okay. Are you doing practice? 
practicing on your downtime, you're back home. Back home, and I'm back here, you know, I come to the boys club or not, or I'm just at the house watching a movie. Now, is there a special miss in your life? A who? Mrs. Young lady? Oh, no, no, that is. Other than she your had beautiful had mother, I'm she sure. Had <laughs> now look, man, don't, don't oh, let this no, drop. No. Don't let this drop and somebody get mad and say, uh-uh, Nate. That ain't going to happen. No, no, no. Okay, right. well, we going to stay away from all of that. We're just trying to figure out a little bit about this young gentleman right here. Uh, so we obviously know he likes to swim. He does his practicing. He's got his downtime. He's back home or watching movies because it's one of his favorite things to do. Yeah. So, and you are a family man from my understanding? Definitely. Anytime you see me, you know, I Trying to keep my family together. We just saw yesterday. I took the whole family to Bush Garden, you know, like 30 of us. So, definitely family oriented. Okay, that's awesome. Well, who has the best fans? You've been with the Cardinals, you've been with the Eagles, you've been with the Broncos, now you're with the Giants. Yeah. Who got the best fans? Man, they, I mean, I can't, I, can't really, I can't really say, man. I mean, everywhere I've been, man, it, it's been love, you know. Uh, one thing I do know about this business, man, it's always about productivity, the more you can do. So you would tend to say wherever you had the most success, you're going to say that's where you had the best fans. But, man, I, I say everywhere I've been, I enjoy it. You know what I mean? So I, I really can't pinpoint which team. Now, y'all in New Jersey. Y'all playing New Jersey. You yeah. live in New Jersey or you living in the city? Jersey. I can't live in the city, man. You don't like the city? No. What's wrong with the city? Yeah. Too busy for me. Too busy. You, you, you been out there? Yeah. See, I like, I, don't, I like to drive everywhere I go. Mm. I don't like about it. I don't do that with the uh, taxi the Ubers. Train, nah, all I ain't doing all that. No. So okay, you like driving to be in control. Up, yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> driving, driving there is impossible. So I stay out of the city, man. I don't go there that much, to be honest. You don't go? Like, what's up? Nah. You know, just so, you know how like some people say, I'm just so Florida. I'm just so Florida, man. Can't stray back from your roots? No. Too far from <laughs> Now, well, you you a top five corner. My in my opinion, you number one motherfucking corner in the league. Really, huh? Nah. What what's up with the endorsements? Yeah, I don't, people don't see you on TV yeah. all the time. Like like you might see a Richard Sherman or something like that. Is that something that you don't want to do? That's or? something. I, that's something I don't want to do. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if you know me, man, I ain't finna argue with nobody. I ain't finna debate about who's the best, who's this, who's that. You know what I mean? I be, I have my opportunities, but I, I'm not in for that. I'm just here to play football and. and so you, sorry to interrupt you, go ahead and apologize. So you kind of feel like that puts you in the public eye too much? Easy. Okay, it kind of makes you, it puts you on a pedestal to a certain level of people looking up to you. Not, not even from that standpoint. I think them guys there are way more judged than anybody else. You That's know true. what I mean? And I just stay out of the way. I just do my time and, and be done with it, you know, just playing ball. I mean, after football, that would be cool. I can do stuff a little while, while I'm doing it. Nah, my.